kind of looks like my bunny needs braces, but we can be a gap tooth bunny. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know, Kate, what have you done? Um, I became the Easter bunny. It's not perfect, the edges aren't completely disappeared, but it's my first time ever doing something like this, so it's pretty cool. I quite like it, and my teeth keep moving around as I speak, but yeah, you can drink with this too. Anyway, this video will be split into two sections, the prep stage and the application and painting and stuff like that. So this intro is going to be used for both, so if they sound the same, it's because they are. So yeah, if you want to see how to prep or apply this makeup, then keep on watching this video. Hope you enjoy this video. Let's get bonafide. I don't know how this is actually going to look. All I know is that I made this and it might end up failing. <laughs> I'm first going to pull my hair out of my face and remove any makeup from my skin with a makeup wipe. To block out my eyebrows, I'm using a Pritt stick to glue my brows flat. To make them as flat as possible, I glue them upwards instead of laying them across. Then I did the same to the other brow. While waiting for my brows to dry, I stuck on the bunny mask I made in part one of the Easter Bunny video. If you haven't seen that video yet, I suggest you go watch that one first. It will be in the corner of your screen in the info card. I'm using spirit gum to glue the mask on, but you can also use Prosade or even more latex. With spirit gum, you have to apply it to the area you want the mask to stick to and tap that area until it's sticky before laying the mask down onto it. I did it in sections to make it easier for myself. I also use spirit gum to stick the two teeth to my top lip under the mask. Now to further help the mask stay on my face and to blend the edges into my skin, I'm using liquid latex and tissue paper. I laid down the latex before using a thin strip of tissue overlapping my skin in the mask. Then I added more latex on top. I then repeated these steps all around the mask, but be careful with liquid latex around your eyes as it's not technically eye safe. I suggest using a liquid latex with no strong scent like mine to avoid eye irritation. Now that the glue on my eyebrows is fully dried, I'm going to cancel out the colour in my eyebrows by using an orange toned corrector. And then I used a high coverage concealer and powder over the top to camouflage my brows further. Now's the time that I started painting and adding shade to the rest of my face to match it to the bunny mask. I'm using water activated paints and eyeshadows to do so. I start by painting my entire face, neck, chest and shoulders white. Also, can we just talk about how easy it is to like apply foundation or anything on your face without eyebrows? I was loving it. <laughs> When shading my face, I used grey tone eyeshadows to add depth. I shaded my temples, the back of my cheeks and jaw, and deepened my eye sockets matching up with the shading on my nose bridge of my mask. I then decided to highlight my non-existent brows, nose bridge and cheeks. My bunny was a sexy bunny who knew how to glow. 
For the lips, I used a liquid lipstick and applied it to the inner part of my bottom lip and blended it out, and then decided to apply that same liquid lipstick to the nose so it was a bit more pink. I then unrealistically decided to add a peachy pink blush to my bunny cheeks because, you know, all bunnies wear pink blush. For the eyes, I kept them soft and sweet using the same highlight shade on my eyelids. I then used the blush on a fluffy brush and blended this in my crease and around the outer edge of my eyes for an innocent look. However, be careful with the pink because you don't want to look like a bunny with pink eye or something. After that, I applied mascara. To make my eyes look bigger and rounder, I used a white pencil in my waterline. To finish off the whole look, I used some eyelashes I purchased, purchased, purchased from Primark to really make my eyes pop. And here we go, some stupid shots of me messing around in my garden because that's what every normal YouTuber does, I think. Oh well, I'm one of a kind and that's why you subscribed. So yeah, if you did like this video and you aren't subscribed already, then make sure you do. Give this video a like, subscribe, and comment down below what videos you want to see next. And I will see you in my next video. Yeah. Bye, guys. <laughs>